Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new writing vlog. I realized last week I forgot to have an intro, so here we are. Yeah, I've been just kind of vibing with this style of video, these kind of weekly writing vlogs where I'm really just giving you updates on my project as I'm working on it. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing again this week. If you missed last week, so I'll have it linked down below. We're currently working on Gracie's book. We're in the rough draft. I don't have a particular word count goal or date I want it done by. I've really just been trying to get back in the habit of writing consistently and make some progress in this book. And so far so good. I'm like really enjoying drafting again. It's been a really long time and it's especially been a really long time since I've been drafting contemporary and it's not like a book in a series and it has a million other components to it. It's just like a one-off rough draft. I don't have to worry about what I've done in a previous book or what's coming next. I can just focus on one story at a time. It's a very freeing feeling. Why Why was I ever writing a series? Standalones are so much easier. <laughs> so yeah, I actually, I'm jumping back um, to add the intro in here. So I'll let you get to the vlog. Spoiler, the week's been going pretty well. Big shout out to Dossier. Before we jump into the vlog though, because they are sponsoring today's video, they're a fragrance company that makes dupes of luxury scents that are a lot more affordable at about 30 or $40 per perfume. I've been incorporating them into my writing routine for I wanna say two years, maybe even three years now, I pick one of their perfumes to associate with each of my books and I wear it every time I'm working on the project and it's like this scent association thing. I just like, it gets me in the mood. It gets, it's the vibe, you know? Gracie's book scent is Powdery Peach. If you go onto their website, it'll tell you which scent each of their perfumes was inspired by if you're looking for something in particular. They're clean, vegan, cruelty-free, all the good stuff, and I would highly recommend checking them out. I'll have their link down below in the description. Make sure you use my code and the link to get a discount. Save some money. If you need a recommendation, Floriental Cedarwood was the Bloodless Ties scent. This is one of my favorites, but honestly, I think their Ambery Lavender edged it out as my favorite. This was the Ruthless End scent, and as you can tell, I have used a lot of this. Uh, I'll have them in the description if you want to check them out and I'll send you back. I think I filmed the first clip a while ago and let's get started with the vlog. Today is Thursday, January 11th. I haven't written anything yet today. Honestly, I think I might not. I don't, I don't want to break my streak, but I'm here to update you on yesterday because I didn't tell you yesterday how much we wrote. And it's my second best uh, writing day since we got started. I wrote 1,926 words yesterday. And yesterday I was like, it might just be a brainstorming day. I might not write anything. Now today I've hit a part in the book where what I originally thought was gonna work, I decided I wanna save for a little bit later. So now I have this, I know what needs to happen here, but I need like a situation and a setting for it to happen in and now the situation and the setting that I thought I was gonna use I need to save for something else so I've been trying to come up with something to replace that with and I, I don't know what I want to do yet because what I decide could greatly influence the timeline which would greatly influence how much time a couple of things have to develop before said big thing that I had to move more towards the climax if that makes sense so I got myself a little bit stuck just because I moved what I thought was gonna happen next we'll figure it out I don't know if we're gonna write today, but we'll figure it out. Dean! Our total word count is now over 42K. Today is Monday, January 15th. Imagine if I just do the whole update like this. It, it actually doesn't show up as bad on here that I thought it would. Um, we're writing today. We haven't been writing for a couple of days because I was stuck. I just kept like mulling things over for a few days and I have finally figured something out. I can't even remember what was the last day I updated you? I'm gonna pop my pacemaker project. I think I was telling you I had this like major event that was about to happen. The funny thing is this moment, initially I wanted to go with plan A and then plan A wasn't really looking like it was gonna turn out. So plan B was what I was about to do that I ended up wanting to save for later. Now I'm back to plan A and I'm like, I actually think I know how I can make this work because I found my old brainstorming Things. So I've been brainstorming lately in this notebook, not realizing that this wasn't the original notebook I was using, so I didn't have all my old notes. Then I found this one, <laughs> and I found all these old brainstorming notes that I completely forgot about, ideas for this book, that I actually think are going to fit in perfectly where this problem I've been having is. I don't know if any of this makes sense in such like a vague way. I had to go back in the timeline or like back like 10 chapters ago to add in a scene to work this whole thing in. So now I'm gonna have to write 
two additional scenes to lead up to this moment, but then we're gonna be back on track. Then we're gonna be moving again. I'm excited. This is gonna work. Plus it's gonna give a lot more depth and like backstory to this one character. So I think this looks like it. I just got started writing today, like literally a second ago. I've written 164 words so far. I don't really have any goals for today for the word count, but if I could just get through this whole scene, the first of the two new ones I need to add. I feel pretty good. This is actually my least favorite kind of scene to write though. So it'll be nice to knock it out. It has a lot of characters in it and scenes where there's just like a huge cast in it and there's a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of like, a lot to manage on the page, you know? I find them challenging to write without being clunky because there's so many people in the room you have to include a dialogue tag after every piece of dialogue to know who's talking. So it's just, I don't like writing these kind of scenes, but it's necessary, so. Happy Monday. What do you think, Dean? Scene is complete. Okay, I ended up writing the second scene too. We're now at like 2,500 for the day and it's only one o'clock. Happy Tuesday. Admittedly, we have not written a ton today and I don't know if I'm gonna write anymore. I just don't really want to right now. We're clocking in at just over a thousand so far today, but you can see yesterday we were like really killing it. So that's why I'm not that worried about it. 3,500 yesterday. It's not like I'm struggling and I like don't know what comes next I'm at a bad part or anything I've actually finally gotten to the moment the scene the one that we were talking about the one that I had the issue with we finally are to the new scene which will be fun it'll be fun to write it's one of those days where my brain doesn't want to sit still I don't want to sit here and be staring at a screen I like want to be up and moving and go do something else so this is just not working with what my brain wants today so a thousand words good enough so overall word count we are at about 47,000. And honestly, so we have this scene. I was gonna say we don't have a lot left. I, I think that's a lie. I think there's still quite a bit to go. But I feel like we've passed all of the stuff that like I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Or the things that just like, it wasn't quite fitting together because I changed some things. There's still quite a bit of space where I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. We're kind of getting into that like fun and games part of the book. We get to get to some you know, promise of the premise. So it'll be like a lot of fun stuff to write, but this kind of part of the book, I think I would prefer to just go with the flow anyway and just kind of see where it takes me. And then we're getting into the last little section of the book. The climax, I'm so freaking excited to write actually. That was what I moved, what I had planned to. I've been saving the scene for the climax. I think it's gonna be real dramatic, real good. I'm excited to write it. Uh, resolution, not so much. You know, I don't like endings. So we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. I have no idea how long this rough draft is gonna end up being. Absolutely no idea. I'm curious, we'll see. Um, the Marionette's books have really skewed my expectations because those rough drafts ended up being like 100K. And I don't think that's gonna be the case with this one. But I also, I don't know, cause it's a dual POV book and those ones tend to be longer for me than just having the female main characters POV. So we'll see. This rough draft is already a lot longer than some of my rough drafts. Um, and we're not close to being done. Place your bets, put it in the comments, let's see. I know it's a Tuesday, kind of a random day to end a vlog on, but that's what I'm gonna do. It's my channel, I make the rules. Yeah, I'll have links for everything down below in the description. If you missed it, the first self-pub 101 video of the year went up on Patreon earlier this month, which was the income report for last year. The rest of the bonus content will be going up here soon. Definitely check out the podcast if you are a member over there that'll be going up soon we got a lot of great questions this month and i will just see you guys in my next video very very soon bye no.